Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is late. So I meant to post this in Pride Month, but it's fine. We can totally pretend this was posted in Pride Month. <laughs> nah, it's really okay because um, according to the internet, it is Pride Weekend. I don't know what that is, but I've seen more Pride flags. Also, I have the trans flag now, but I've seen more Pride flags this weekend than I have all month. So I'm gonna say it's okay. And I'm gonna try not to say the word sorry because mom gets very angry at me. <laughs> okay, on with the actual video. Okay, so as you can see, I am now preparing a bunch of skeletons. This page is just chock-a-block full of characters because every single one of these characters features in my new comic, Apocalypse Kids. That's a lie. It's not a very new comic. Um, it's a redo of an old comic that I didn't like and decided to redo. But now there's more characters, a better plot line. And as you can see in the top left corner, I believe... There is um, face shots of every single one of the characters. They all have full body drawings as well in that notebook, but it's just a bunch of face shots in that one. So here I start fleshing out the skeletons and here's where you'll begin to see the actual character come in. So every single time I enter a new phase, whether that be sketch like fleshing them out or adding details or outlining or coloring, I always start from left to right. So, well, left to right for me, but front to back for for you. It's, it's confusing. It's a confusion. But, so the first character at the front is Beetle. He is a, vil he is a villain come hero, but I'm not going to explain the plot too much because I'll do that through the comic. And if people want to know the plot, they can read the comic. Then you have Hatchet who is an axe-wielding epic person. Then Nox, who is one of the original characters, and on top of his shoulders is Bomber, who's also one of the original com um, comic book characters. In this, in this image, everyone is holding their pride flag. Um, for Hatchet and Beetle, their pride flag is the same. They're both bisexual, so I just decided to have them both hold. Well, I had Beetle hold them hold the flag over their head. This next character is Mantis with her big giant scythe. You know, the character came first, then the name. Usually I do the name first, then the character, and base the character off of whatever their weapon is, because they live in a post-apocalyptic world where they require weapons. So Mantis has a big giant scythe. So she ended up being Mantis because, well, Mantises have pokey arms. And they're very sharp and pointy, so Mantis it is. The first two are kissing because they are in a relationship by the end of the comics. I want to work that in somehow because they were both traumatized by the same cult, um, except one decided to do their bidding and suffer, and the other decided to be tortured and not do their bidding. But you know, they're both epic and they both changed, so they're going to date by the end of the six comics. Um, Bomber and Knox were ba uh, originally based off of me and Luke. They aren't anymore, not really. But, um, Luke, if you're watching, just know, one day I'm gonna drag you to a pride parade, and I will sit on your shoulders. You can throw me off, I will sit on your shoulders though. Even only briefly. We are in a new setting here because we were in a hotel in Basildon for a while. Um, this whole two days we have been and I just got home so now I'm recording this voiceover and I'm going to upload but yeah so um, if I don't know if you can tell but on Nox's shirt is a little ally flag because he's the only one of the characters who isn't gay which is you know quite astounding because all of my characters are gay in some way and then Mantis and this other character who I did not describe earlier is spider that is why he's upside down because he's sneaky and he can climb very well and he does well with poisons he's like nox but evil nox uses gases a lot and so we'll later get a filtration mask i'm sorry my nose is dying 
but Spider tends to use poisons that you can drop into drinks more than he uses actual gases. Here I'm colouring their hair. I did this in the same style that I do the comics, so the only parts that will be coloured in are their hair and their pride flags, then the rest of the shading will be done in um, just regular pencil. Here it was getting quite late, so I had to use just the lamps because Mum has delicate flower eyes and is very dramatic when it comes to light. Oh my god, can my nose just not? I'm dying. I blame Luke. I have no reason to, but I blame Luke. Um, I had such trouble getting a decent red for Spider's hair, but I'm so happy that I did. I don't know where my red pencil's gone. I think somebody stole it at school. I might have lent it to someone and they nicked it. But yeah, I had trouble finding a decent red. So I eventually settled on this blood red kind of color, which is cool. Then I used Tipex for the highlights in everybody's eyes. Oh yeah, I also colored in the eyes. And then it was time to add shading. Mostly what I did was I just colored in sections to make um, the clothes not all just basic white. I really don't like how um, Beetle's jumper is colored in as well as Hatch's jumper because now both of the jumpers are colliding and it just makes for a really awful gray area. But um, every single character has some sort of gray area on them. Because I think it looks cool and it makes for a nice difference. Um, usually I would do all of the hair ties in grey as well. But um, except for spiders where it was hanging out, all of the hair ties were kind of just on top of a grey area already. So I didn't. Um... Then I had to like pause the recording and go look up a bunch of pride flags because I didn't know the MLM pride flag very well and I didn't know the lesbian pride flag very well. So I googled it and then I don't know if you can see but in the bottom corner I kind of just scribbled them out of the colour palettes really quickly so that I could reference them when I actually start colouring them in. I did the ally flag but like I don't really agree with the ally flag, I think it's a bit stupid. Because if you're an ally, just wear the rainbow flag or the progress pride flag. But I did the ally flag anyway because it's there, it exists, and Nox is an ally, I guess. And then Hatchet and Beetle both have the bisexual flag. Walmart has the trans flag. Um, Mantis has... Sorry, my brain froze. Mantis has the lesbian flag and Spider has the MLM flag. This is a close-up of the drawing. And then there'll be an overview of the, of the drawing. And that's the end of the video. I'm not going to do an end face up, so goodbye all. Please enjoy this last couple seconds, I guess.